the drives. Wrapping paper was in short supply, so. Oh, you don't realise how hard this was to find. Yeah, that's true. I didn't even find it. Talk about it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, sick. It's the colour I wanted. Oh, no, it's a shirt. It's a shirt. It's the rolls of your birthday. I have to wear the, the bad Thailand shirt. Oh, I like that. It's meant to be funny, okay. I actually really like it. I think it really suits you. Oh, I like it. I actually really like it. It suits you. I actually really like it. Ah! Oh, sorry. <laughs> and this is my outfit for today. And if you don't like it, you can leave. Oh, I like it. It looks great. It brings out your eyes. I work for the I'm getting a little birthday smoothie. Tom's gone for a pineapple one, I've gone for mango and pineapple, even though I don't think I love mango, but I keep seeing people trying them, and I'm like, I want to like it, because I feel like it is what Asia do best. Everybody here loves mango, it's in everything, so I'm like, oh, I really want to like it. These pineapples look great. We've got five minutes till we need to leave for the bus. We can do it. Limbering up, ready for your race. <laughs> Stretching his injury. Anyway, good morning from Katal. As I mentioned, and as you saw today, it's actually Tom's 22nd birthday, so big happy birthday. Thank you. We are actually spending most of it traveling from Katal all the way to the Phi Phi Islands, which I actually think are probably Thailand's most famous island. Maybe that's just because I'd heard of them before we came out here. Why has this road suddenly got really busy? But they were probably the place that I was the most excited to visit after we'd finished like our mainland tour. Yeah, that was probably where I was looking forward to going the most because they look absolutely beautiful, don't they? They do. When I found out we were going to be there on Tom's birthday, I was like, yes. And even though we are spending a lot of the day traveling to get there, I think it'll be worth it because we're going to be there for sunset. We're going to be able to go on the beach and have dinner. And, like, yeah, go we're out. going out for food, have some drinks, it'll be nice. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I always get like a proper mucus in the morning. It's horrible. No, me, yes. Mm. Yeah, we were supposed to be there the full day. I think we were supposed to travel on another night ferry last night. Yeah. Um, but they aren't running that currently because of COVID. So we're going to this morning which means it's like a six-ish, seven-ish hour journey. I don't know how much of this stuff I'm going to have left in because it's very, very loud. So I'll catch up with you soon. Well guys, big sad. We can't get the smoothies because it's going to take him too long to set the machine up and our taxi's going in five minutes. So we're like, eh. taxi won't be going now because nobody else will be ready. Uh, but we are going to stop off at the 7-Eleven. I'm getting really sick of 7-Eleven breakfast, but it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> We're getting pancakes for breakfast instead. This is a proper birthday breakfast. I feel like this is the right thing to be getting. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. That seems safe. This definitely seems like a good way to get on a boat. Oh my god. After the longest day of travel, I mean you can tell just by my hair how long we've been travelling for, I look so rough. We have finally arrived in Phi Phi. Do not underestimate if you're coming to Thailand how long it actually takes to get between the islands if you're planning on doing a holiday or a trip in the south, especially if you're not doing it with an organised tour, it can be a real faff. So we ended up getting one boat from Katao, where we were this morning, back to Koh Phangan, which is like the bigger of the islands on that side of the country. A boat from Koh Phangan back to mainland Thailand, a bus that took three and a half hours from one side of the country to the other side, and then a high speed speed boat from Krabi to Phi Phi. It was, it was long, like don't underestimate it. Usually they run night ferries, so it cuts half the journey in half because you can do half of it through the night, sleep on the boat, and then just drive the rest in the morning. However, they're not running them at the moment because of COVID, so bear that in mind. I just wanted to give you an honest and real review, but we have arrived in Phi Phi in time for a lovely evening for Tom's birthday, so hopefully it's gonna be worth it. And we've seen a bit of Phi Phi. We walked from the port to the hotel, and this is a gorgeous hotel. It's like Santorini inspired and you guys know that Tom and I obviously went to Santorini last year. We absolutely loved it. I really love Greece. To get here, we had to go on foot because you like literally can't get public transport really around this island. So we saw a lot of PP. So we're going to go and explore it now before getting ready to go out for Tom's birthday. But first, I thought I'd get Tom to do a little room tour because on the first vlog, loads of you loved that. So here's Tom's room tour. Okay, so we have a nice blue Greek inspired door. The whole room is Greek inspired actually. It looks really, really nice. Um, really nice door. Would you agree? I would agree. Nice door. Mirror. Hair dryer. The policies and fees and all that jazz. Two glasses. Tissues. So we've got a really nice bathroom actually. This is the nicest bathroom we've had. I think it is in... the nicest bathroom that we've had. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that we've had actually. Not including the 
shower proof oh, hotels. The posh five days. The posh ones. But yeah, very nice. Another mirror. I think it's a power shower, to be fair, which we haven't had many of. Toilet, which Molly is just nicely christened. I did not poo. Okay. Wardrobe. We haven't really used anything like wardrobes, have we? Because everything's just bags. I'm not gonna lie, bags. I haven't had a wardrobe. We've had the odd one. TV, but we never have time to use the TV and it's all in Thai. Holly's looking at me like, this is dreadful. No, I'm just thinking of moving the camera very quickly. Are you guys dizzy watching this at home? Light, very nice lights. Actually, there's been a shortage of bedside tables and there lights. Has, yeah, so, they don't really yeah. Tables here. And sockets in good places, because usually they're just like randomly chilling up there or like. Oh, I saw, I saw a reason as to why they put the flood sockets so high on the wall. It's because, especially on the islands, they're really prone to flooding. So if you flood at ground level, all your oh, flood sockets get wet. Of so course. Them high up. Not ideal for the dangling iPhone cable because then how do you charge your phone? It's just hanging in the air. And especially when we have such big travel adapters. They just fall off the wall. But it's Fine. We have the most luxurious of luxuriousness balcony. Ooh. A balcony view, though. What a view. I mean, we haven't stepped outside yet, but I cannot wait to just have my breakfast out here. Nice sunrise and beautiful view. Okay, let's not focus on the negative. Let's go out to the markets and buy some stuff that we definitely, definitely don't have space for. Woo! Guys, this is that shot of PP that you see when you Google PP. It's the boat, it's moored up on the beach, it's the gorgeous backdrop. This is probably one of the most beautiful backdrops for a beach that I've actually ever seen. Like, it's, it's insane. I should have brought my drone down here because I don't think I'll have time to fly my drone actually tomorrow, but I mean, you don't need the drone shot. You can imagine it. Let me zoom in and you can see it a little bit better. It's a bit clearer because I obviously know. There you go. You can see the landscape. It's just incredible. I said this the other day, but it sort of reminds me of like where Avatar is filmed a little bit. This is just beautiful, guys. I just don't think the camera does it justice at all. Really, you're just going to have to come here and experience it for yourself. Like, you definitely, definitely should add it to your travel list. And I've been here for an hour. Also, yeah, I just bought this necklace, by the way. If you were to Google Thailand and just go on Google Images, the generic shot that comes up is of PP Island. It's like probably the most famous island or one of the most famous islands here in Thailand and um, Yeah, it's very surreal to actually be here and be on it because it does look pretty much exactly like it does on Google Other than it's cloudy and it is sort of raining, but if you take that out of the equation, I mean I just bought a headband. Guys, I've become a walking Thailand stereotype. I've got the shell necklace, I've got the headband. And I've got the uh, And Tom's shirt. got the shirt. We look like the Together most... Together we are backpackers. <laughs> Very backpackery right now, but it's, it's a vibe, it's fine. This is Tom's birthday night outfit. 7-Eleven heaven. It's a joke. He's matching with one of the other lads, which is also a joke. I've gone for, uh, I have matched the colour theme. I've gone for the 7-Eleven green, but I was like, I'm gonna wear a nice outfit because I brought this place here and I love it. But anyway, we're gonna go. Happy birthday, dear Tom. Happy birthday, dear Tom. Happy birthday to you. Actually looks bad. That looks amazing. I don't want to I actually hardcore have the it. <laughs> <laughs> These two walking down the beach like absolute muffets that they are. 7-Eleven! Oh. Yeah. But if anybody was wondering, this is what Ko Pee is like in an evening. I'm not helping because I'm following them with the camera, but this is what Pee Pee's like in a night. And uh, the ocean is so clear. I mean, just look at that water. I can't wait to be on that all day tomorrow. I'm so excited. We've got literally a whole day excursion. For now, we're celebrating Tom's birthday. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> From the epitome of a Thailand tourist. Yesterday I bought the swimming costume uh, from a little stall and it's really, really cute. I really like it. However, it's just a little bit too small for me height wise and I didn't even think about this. Something that I have just generally noticed here is all of the clothes that they sell are one size and that size is small. Didn't think about the fact that I'm probably taller than 
the average height in Thailand and it's just ever so slightly too tight for me like across the hips however because I bought it off a stall I don't think you can take it back and I've already tried it on now anyway so I'm like mm, well <laughs> looks like I'm keeping it and I'm like maybe when I go swimming it'll loosen it up anyway i've got my bandana on tom and i have got up fairly early this morning we're actually gonna go for breakfast because there are so so many cute little breakfast stalls here like healthy looking ones acai bowls smoothies you know the kind so we're gonna get some breakfast because we've got a long day today we're doing all of the pp island excursions so we're going to monkey beach we're going to maya bay i am just very very excited for today this has been something i've been looking forward to this whole trip just packing up my little bag that i take when we go on like a day out so this really handily fits in my towel my book my gopro this camera my phone my mouth the sun cream a hairbrush and a bikini cover up and all of that fits in this tiny little feeler backpack that's tom flushing the toilet so i just thought i would show you kind of like uh what i bring with me when we're going on a little day excursion that doesn't include anything overnight this is the perfect size bag and obviously it means it's also not too bulky to carry oh and also it fits a bottle of water If you get scratched by the nail or you get bit by monkeys, you need to get rabies shot. Do not panic, just stay like let them climb around you, they jump off by the way when they know that you don't have any food. Where's the place you're supposed to go? <laughs> So the first stop off on our little excursion day tour was actually to Monkey Beach. This tour included, I think, three locations. So Monkey Beach, Maya Bay, and also a snorkeling stop, and lunch was included as well. This was organized through True Travels, but if you're going to the PP Islands, you can literally organize this anywhere. But like I say, the first stop was Monkey Beach, and I was so excited about this. I know I've said that a lot, but trust me, we got the long tail boats there, and it is literally just a little bay filled with monkeys in their natural habitat. You can't get too close to them obviously and actually monkeys can be quite vicious they like to like jump down onto people and take their food off them and like you know they're super super smart animals you literally can't make it up we watched this one eating a snack of somebody that was walking past with a packet of crisps it just sweeped down grabbed the crisps and took them out of their hand and ate them and honestly we were all kind of like oh my god um, but from there we headed to maya bay every single area around the pp islands is literally just picture perfect you can't make it up it is just absolutely gorgeous everybody spent the whole day literally in awe just look at the color of the water here i'm literally shook even watching it back i'm like whoa it's so blue oh smile guys oh this is a good pick spot that is a great pick spot it. it's one of the nicest views i've probably ever seen yeah yeah. That's the ground. That is, that is the ground. Guys, we are at Maya Bay. I have been so excited to visit here. I've mentioned it about 20 oh, times actually, already. Can I get one more? Um, yes, of course. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Bye. That's okay. Here's an S. We're at Maya Bay. And um, this is particularly famous, as I think I already mentioned, from the film The Beach. Get that gram, get that gram, get the gram. This is the little stairway. Basically, you have to moor up your boat here because you can't go like directly to the beach on the boats because they're trying to like conserve it. It's actually been closed to tourists for like a good couple of years. It's only actually reopened after COVID. So we go up here. Got some stairs and then it's actually a national park so you can't bring like bottles or anything like that I'll do a little roundup once we're on there and I'll do a little voiceover because I don't know the specifics But we're gonna go and learn them. So you excited? Ah. I'm so sorry for ruining your vlog. No, you didn't ruin the vlog Literally from every angle this is just picture perfect. I don't know where to look my eyes are like you can't take it all in at one time This is beautiful Cause every little thing is gonna be alright <laughs> Oh my god it's the hairy legged mountain crab It's me Welcome to my abode it's been waiting for you. Like I mentioned, Maya Bay was one of the places that was top of my list. I have been so excited to visit here ever since I watched the film The Beach with Leonardo DiCaprio. By the way, that was a tiny shark you just saw swimming past there. Very small, but still a shark. Ever since I watched that film with Leonardo DiCaprio, this island and this beach specifically has been on my travel list and I'm so, so glad we got to visit and we were actually able to go on the beach. That was not graceful. Ooh. I actually think this is the nicest filming background I've probably ever had and I'll probably ever have again. Look at this. This behind me. Oh, I'm still sat too close to the camera. You can't bloody see it. So if you go so for it. Sorry. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Apologies. If we confirm, this is the nicest vlog backdrop of all vlog backdrops. I think it's a close contender. 
You've got sand in your eye. What's a clothes contender? Like the background of your bedroom is. Oh really yeah, easy. you know my office with the fairy lights. Yeah. <laughs> That's usually my background. It's not bad. Imagine sitting here and filming a video every single day. Look at my feet. Anyway, we have been on Maya Beach for nearly an hour. It's actually limited. Every person that comes on gets 60 minutes. They're super, super um, particular about like what you can and can't bring here, how long you can and can't spend here. And like I say, it actually wasn't open to the public until after COVID because it had been closed like for years before that. Basically, I think like the pollution and like all the tourists on the beach every day were destroying how naturally beautiful it is. But obviously over COVID, it had time to like heal and restore. And now they're really like, particular and thorough about when you can and can't visit and like what you can and can't bring and stuff which is really good actually yeah it's my, kept so nice my feet are really weird as well this is so beautiful i just feel really happy here i feel like this this should be life every day i wish this was life every day Come here. i also feel like we've accidentally sat in the shade so now it looks really dark but it is beautiful here Anyway guys, just thought I'd update you, just thought I'd vlog, just say hi because We're loving life right now, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Also, this sand is so soft. Have you noticed how yeah, soft this sand is? really nice. I was saying this when we were up there, but I would love to see where this beach ranks in terms of like, world's nicest beaches. I really about... bet it's up there in the top 10. Could be top five, I'd say. The people over there are staring at us vlogging now, so we're gonna go. What? <laughs> If happiness was a picture, it would be this. We have just got back to the hotel room. It was a very long day, but guys, Maya Bay was incredible. I will talk to you a bit more thoroughly about it later. The current dilemma we're just having is that Tom's phone has just stopped working, which is incredibly unideal because Tom took all of the photos and all of the videos today. Like I just left my phone in my bag and also my camera a lot of the time. So when you've been watching these vlogs, all of the montage clips that you've been seeing, Tom's actually filmed them. So like anything that's not me doing this to camera, a lot of that is Tom's footage. And then I've been like sending it across um, just because you know we're like working together on a lot of these vlogs and he has a better phone which is the main reason his camera quality is insane so yeah a lot of these vlogs have been filmed on on the phone however all of today's content is not being backed up to the iCloud yet because he's been backing it up like overnight every night today's stuff isn't there and I'm trying not to be gutted because I know that's completely shallow and like you know I know that I won't and it doesn't matter about showing the world but also it kind of is my job and I'm within my rights to be really upset if we don't get back but I'm clinging on to hope that once the water has dried out of Tom's phone he should be able to plug it in and like manually back it up. Tom's not worrying that's not the issue the issue isn't the water like he's been taking it in the, the water every single day and like it always clears it's just like you can't wired charge it. The issue is the, the screen is just completely not responding at all to anything like you can't touch the screen. I, I don't think the water's the issue I think that's just a coincidence. It does so, which look is like why that. I'm not worried because it's still responding to like anything else but the touch screen isn't working. Obviously, sure. we're also not in an ideal place to just get another phone. I'm like 90% sure we'll get the photos back because it will, it's still working. So providing it's still working tonight, touch wood, it will back up the photos. Keep your fingers crossed for us, guys. I wanted to vlog and include this because I like showing the ups and downs of backpacking. Like, you know, we had the card issue right at the beginning of this trip. I've had a few things where I've actually left them behind. I left my charger for this camera somewhere random. So I've been charging it wired, which I never do. I always charge the batteries up separately. Um, little things like that. It just comes with backpacking. Like, you're always all over the place. You're from A to B. Things do go wrong. We're going to keep our fingers crossed. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> While we wait for the water to dry out, we're going to go and get some food because I'm absolutely starving. It's been like a 10-hour day on the boat today so we need food oh my god guys update we were like let's just try it one more time before dinner and it's working now i think the phone is just having a moment so i don't know how much that last clip i left in but the phone is working so let's go boys